home, home on the range, where the flipper flicks records. They like to sing and talk in accents and make terrible reviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty spot on. Yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm Adam. Hi. And terrible is the wrong word. Let me say that. It is just, we are not professional. Unprofessional. Unprofessional reviews. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Where's the cowbell when you need it? <laughs> do we have one? No. Or do we give it as a gift? No, you get a kazoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's we, we did give somebody a cowbell as a gift. We did. <laughs> In a white elephant once. I also found out that you could personalize a cowbell, and I wanted to make fil- flipper what? flicks cowbells, but they were kind of expensive. Cowbells? Cowbells. So anyway. Was this during our trophy hunt? Yeah, maybe one of these days we'll open a merch store and give Flipper Flicks cowbells. That'd be funny. Limited edition, only yeah. buying five because I don't want a household of bells. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't have enough <laughs> listeners to justify buying like hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Happening now. That's true. Now that yeah. Sam's gone through her merchandising ideas. Mm-hmm. Please mm-hmm. Uh, shout us out on Twitter or Instagram if you like the cowbell idea and you would buy one. Let me know. Then maybe I'll make two. <laughs> or the one. <laughs> Three. You got to make one for us, Tim, and then whoever somehow wanted one. That's true. See? There we go. Already got like a little pot of them. Um, no. You could do it on Instagram or Twitter, at Flix. <laughs> or if you have any other merchandise ideas, let us know. Not that we'll make them, but, you know, I like to have a little bit of discourse about that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There you go. Or if you want to review us, you can review us on Apple, Podchaser that I think just got bought out. Where else can you review? Uh, I don't even Spotify know. now. Good Pods, Spotify. Spotify gets the reviews? Mm-hmm. Dang. Now. I think it's just a star. I don't think it's the right anything. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Anyway, you could review us. Uh, and you can find us on all of those platforms and many others. We release episodes every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can uh, subscribe or follow, and then you'll get this nice little notification in Spotify. It's a red dot. At least it is on my phone. It's like, Flipper Flicks dropped an episode. Yeet. That's the exact ver- verbiage that you'll get on your phone. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> if I could actually go through and change it to say yeet. Yeet. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I would. In a heartbeat. <laughs> I would, yeah, you want to change it to be like, yo, we dropped a new episode, yeet, or something like that. Like, you want it to be, like, as ridiculous as possible to get people's attention, personally. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. I feel like I forgot some, oh, the website. I knew. I was like, I'm in the middle of something. Uh, I guess you could recommend movies for us at our website, Flipperflex. Flipperflex.com, not Flipperflex. Flipper flex. That is the first time that I've like stumbled over flipper, flipper flex. Flex. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on April Fool's Day we should change our name to Flipper Flex and make That's you guys flex a lot or something of effort. again and put it on a cowbell. It all comes full circle. <laughs> Why not flex a gold? Oh, uh, that seems hard. Yeah, that is a lot more expensive. Anyway, all these great ideas. And we give them to Tim. Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> Did you say your name? Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't yeah. matter anyway because you said my name. <laughs> so people already know my name. But I said yeah. Tim's name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I don't have to say my name now. <laughs> say my name. Yeah, technically say my they know name. who you are. <laughs> down yeah, down so down you guys down. know who I am. Uh, this guy. And <laughs> this freaking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled uh, a streaming original this week, um, which is always vintage a fun one. Vintage category. Oh, yeah. Sometimes easier, yeah. Ooh, vintage category. category. Classic. Which is basically as it as it sounds. You pick a platform that what? had its own original movie or something. Um, I went with somewhat of an easy one uh, or a newer movie, I guess. Well, I thought it was <laughs> yeah, more new. Yeah, about that. But it, it came out in 2018, new. and I thought it was, you know, a year or two old. Yeah, like last year. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tim's been telling us he watched this film since we started the podcast two years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> So I definitely, uh, yeah. Uh, just yep. Time is wild. Yep. Yeah, it's all relative. Silly, right? It's that fourth dimension mm-hmm. uh, callback. I, I didn't even think. I thought we had started the podcast before I watched this. That's where I, my mind was at. With this. Whoa, oh. we're not yeah. that old. Yeah, 
<laughs> so, a film from 2018, uh, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Um, I think when it came out, it was somewhat like talked about. Mm-hmm. It was. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, how, like you know, I don't know if it's got a lot of clout or hype or whatever <laughs> behind it, but it just kind of came out of nowhere. So it's a Netflix original. Um, it's got a pretty big cast in there. Um, but the <clears throat> synopsis for this movie, again, 2018, two hours, 13 minutes is what Netflix <laughs> says. So, ranging from absurd to profound, these Western vignettes from the Cohen brothers follow the adventures of outlaws and settlers on the American frontier. Vignettes? Um, vignettes. Vignettes. Yeah, what did I say? Vignettes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time i've read that <laughs> sentence <laughs> sam, and yet? sam and i just kind of like looked at each other we're like what word is that true? trying to be i was like picking up my yet? phone and i'm like is wyatt know. europe never, over there I don't think, hold on i'm gonna look that word up i don't know well what? i get what it is but yeah now i have to see if that's how you actually say it see it's not i'll look later not professional, professional. yes <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's the first time I've realized that it's also the Coen brothers. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty funny because uh, we seem to like their stuff. But third movie. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. That's kind of weird. But yeah. anyway, um, Sam, you go ahead. Okay. Um, your expectation. I remember when this came your, out. Your big net. <laughs> yeah. And I too. <laughs> thought it just came out like last year really there's like this there's this blur of time for the past couple of years where like four, time both stood years? still and moved forward at the same time <laughs> and so everything happened last year in my brain um but anyway i remember when it first came out i don't know if people were so much as talking about it as it was just like on the home page of netflix and so you're like oh and it's like right in your face and you're like you know try this movie and so I remember you and I talked about watching it, Adam, and then we just like literally never got around to it because probably because mm. of the length being at like two Western. hours. Western. Western and it being <laughs> two hours. Um, but I basically knew it was a musical um, and I knew that Tim had seen it and I was like, all right. So like I'm expecting it to be interesting because I knew the main dude. Well, can you even call him the main dude? Yeah, you can call him the main dude. I knew Buster Scruggs. Uh, that actor, I like him. So I was like, all right, yeah. I'm excited for this. Adam? Oh, boy. So, yeah. This was, I want to say, so 2018 was not the beginning of Netflix's rise to originals. Because that was like Roma. Roma was the yeah. first year, and I think that was 2017. Like a million years ago. Uh, because this movie I knew was nominated for like multiple Oscars. Oh, maybe that's how I knew about it. Yeah. Um I thought I would like it because I was like a musical western just seems <laughs> intriguing. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize it was some um, six different vignettes. Me neither. Yeah, that that <laughs> I thought was, it was one story. Yeah, I thought it was one <laughs> cohesive story. And I know about the meme of the James Franco first yeah. time. <laughs> I know about that. That's ingrained in my head forever. For like four years. Yeah, it's it's been so it's it's just, it's a solid meme, it's a solid one. Uh, I was expecting uh, to be interested because my track record with westerns is not great, mostly because <laughs> it's non-existent for the most part. So yeah, uh, yeah, Tim, I know you kind of gave yours, but coming back to it a second time, what were you feeling? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the first time, you know, I watched it immediately because of what it was, essentially a goofy Western. I right. didn't know what a vignette was or a vignette or whatever the hell it is, um, obviously. But I understand now, you know, short stories or whatever. But yeah, I, you know, reading the synopsis, I think that's the first time I've actually read the synopsis because I think when it came out and the same thing with this, I just clicked on it and played it, yeah. which I do most of the that's, time. That's Sometimes very Tim-like. But um yeah i just kind of go with things but this time around i mean i remembered enjoying it i wasn't sure how much i was going to remember i definitely was like okay i thought it was two years ago or a year ago and it's four years ago i've definitely forgot a lot about this because i only watched it once i think right um so i was like i can remember you know the main guy you know whatever you want to say with him but um and like bits and pieces 
and I wasn't sure if that was this film or not. Like I was, you know, I was ah. thinking about it and I was like, I wasn't sure if that's this film or a different like film. So, um, it was cool just yeah, uh, get a refresher on it and watch an enjoyable movie again. I was ready for it. Nice. Yeah. So spoilers, if you haven't watched this, definitely not from last year, but definitely from last year, 2018 classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have six times the spoilers. <laughs> there you go. Six times the spoilers. Well, so the big nits are obviously like split the story, right? So I guess maybe we could just talk about them in their sections. Yeah. And I have all six of their names down. Okay. What's the first one? The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Shocking. Ah, uh, no. I had no idea. So I thought, yeah, like I think everybody did. Uh, Buster Scruggs was going to be the main character. And then, mm-hmm. you know, when they switched to the second one, I was like, okay, what character is Buster Scruggs going to be like linked into this story? Yeah. Right. Like I thought it was all going to be woven together because that's very Coen mm-hmm. brother like. Mm-hmm. I kept waiting for that. I'm going to tell you now. It doesn't happen. It never happens. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, did I miss it? Like, I remember sitting there. And I don't know. We can get to that a little bit later. But for Buster, I was shocked at, like, how good of a shot he actually was. Like, oh, I was yeah. not expecting oh. that. Because, like, <laughs> right. he's kind Ran of derpy. Be super, yeah, he derpy, but, like, he just, I don't know. Fucking it's just rats. really good. His character is great. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. So, apparently, he talks at, uh, like, he shoots up that cantina. Right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Also, he's the only car- only part of the six Vignettes that breaks the fourth wall. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah he stares at the camera and like yeah. talks to you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, that, like, to me, this is almost episodic. Like, this could have been a six episode miniseries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that, those I, don't get Oscars. I, I look at it as um, Love, Death, and Robots. Okay, in anthology. But it's all, yeah, but it's all Western themed, you know. Gotcha. Right. Um, it, that's that's what it reminds me of because, and I love Love Death from the Robots. New season just came out of that too, by the way. Oh, nice. Uh, Plug for that. Star- <laughs> yeah, Star Wars Vision is that. the same too. Cool. I was a fan of that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so this Western. This yeah. Western. <laughs> These Westerners. Okay. So he at one fight is fight talking to Surly Joe. Mm-hmm. So Joe stands up, pulls out a gun. You're not supposed to have a gun there. Yeah, he's like, don't put it back. Like those are yeah, the yeah. rules. I love that. Like, I lo- yeah, he just straight up is just telling him, you know, and then he disobeyed the saloon's rules. I can't yeah. remember the phrase he said. Now it was so good. He says the word Archimedean like at one point in mm-hmm. that discussion, yeah. and creates a lever. To knock the his arm up to make him shoot himself, mm-hmm. Archimedes created the lever. Oh, I'm sure that was. Oh, very that's, yeah. yeah, that's a very <laughs> Cohen Brothers thing to do. Like, yeah, yeah. They they're very perfect with their writing. Mm-hmm. Precise. That's the word I'm thinking. Precise. Yeah, I I didn't catch that, but like I just was reading about it, and then I also saw that anybody who like either laughed at him. Or, like, taunted him and made fun of him, they died. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Only one person lived. He's the only one who ever praised him, and he's the one who killed him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was fun. And then yeah. he's like floating away as a ghost. Yeah. He's <laughs> singing, but, floating away as a ghost is great. Yeah. So I knew it was six. I knew the number was six because mm-hmm. I, by the time we watched the film, start of the film, I read the number six. Yada, the yada. The synopsis. Yada. Yeah. So I look at my watch. I'm like, it's been like 15 minutes. I know this movie's over two hours. How is this going to work? I was also confused <laughs> right. because I felt like the first one was super short. I and know. I was like, wait was a minute. Short. I think they. I would have liked that one to be a little longer. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. That being said, the an- the goofiness of that one might not have worked any longer stretch. And long- yeah. yeah. And because it would have been overplayed at that point that he's just running around doing goofy shit. And then. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just going to say, <laughs> I feel like we're not, uh, we don't have it together this week. Anyway, I was just going to say that, like, and when he does the standoff at the end, right, like, I thought it was hilarious that he's like, best not to get too creative as he's looking in a mirror with a gun upside down. Yeah. And like, yeah. to get, I was like, <laughs> I don't know, that was just like a good line. I was like, nailed it. Good it job. was. Did you, did you guys see the cheap hats for sale sign? No. Mm-hmm. And then I was wondering 
have you ever seen in a western a guy buy a hat and why do i feel like i talked we talked about this before right cowboys already always have their hats they never they always do yeah they never get a new one. They've always had their old trusty hat. <laughs> yeah, they've only ever had the one. hat they have. I know. Yeah. It's it's funny because like okay, you can be like, oh, it's just a thing. Eventually, you do see how like I'm going to say like Pirates of the Caribbean. You see Jack Sparrow get his hat. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You find out how he got his damn hat that he's obsessed with. Mm-hmm. But I want to say mm-hmm. cowboys are always obsessed with their hats. No, it's just like a part of the wardrobe. Mm. Yeah. They're not obsessed. They they always have to wear one, but they're not like, I don't know. Tim, you've seen I'd, westerns. I'd say otherwise. I'd say usually they're pretty attached to their hats. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a thing. I don't know. Uh, like not like a good luck thing or whatever, but it's kind of like. It's part of them. It's a good hat. Usually, it's not like just <laughs> yeah. like a random like cheap hats for sale. Yeah, yeah. No, and you're you're the western guy. We're the what the fuck did we watch? Got two people over here. Mm-hmm. Although you take you dabble in that quite a bit too. Yeah. Um. Anyways, do we want to carry our on to near Algodones? Okay. Sure. That is the James Franco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. James Franco's character is cowboy. <laughs> nice. But he honestly, he they might have the one of the best characters in this group. The pan shot guy. Pan like shot. <laughs> pan shot. Yep. Pan, pan shot. shot that guy was crazy. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of memes with him too, and like there's oh, um, there? sort of. Uh, I know in a couple games he shows up, or like Hunt Showdown, for instance, he shows up as like a Easter egg. You doesn't show oh, up like he's nice. he's sitting somewhere in the environment, right? Pan in one of the shot. maps, but yeah, it's fucking great. <laughs> You knew that once he was going to lean down, he was going to try and shoot him. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I still thought it was funny like when he jumps behind the counter, like the sheer amount of guns. Like I figured yeah. it'd just be like one right, that he like had on the floor. He's like yeah. got him rigged oh. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he should have just gotten the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty funny because like it's pretty deserted. And then like, <laughs> I don't know, that guy... And how he was just talking about everything. Like, he was really long-winded about everything. He kind of reminds me of the guy in the last one. Where you're just like, whoa. You say, like, one thing, and then he has, like, a story for 20 minutes about right, it. Right, he just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about, you're talking about pan shot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> he just, I, I, great I just too. think of him in dodgeball. Yeah. Yep, dodgeball, yeah. That's or what, uh, office space. He Office space. He used the voice from office space a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stapler. Um, God, <laughs> Such the, a movie. So he's James Franco's cowboy character is about to get hung. Mm-hmm. For the bank robbery. For the bank robbery. He's standing there. Well, he's sitting on his horse. This dude's coming up to him talking. And then a bunch of bunch of Native Americans come and just start a war party just tears up. Yeah. But dude, there's a guy that gets shot in the neck by an arrow. He somehow yep. lives, pulls it out, and then another goes <laughs> out. Him, yeah. and another, like, <laughs> Classic. You were talking so this, about something. Go ahead. The me. arrow. Yeah, yes. he gets hit in the neck with an arrow, and then the other one. Yeah, this one holds true to like the goofiness of like the first one. I think it's not as goofy. Yeah, but there are parts. They, they're still it's still sprinkled in there. It's yeah. Like, yeah, you know. it's. I thought it was pretty funny, and then he gets caught. Like the guy tries to shoot the cowboy down. <laughs> yeah, hold still. Yeah. Hold still. I that written down. <laughs> As if he can totally control yeah, it. Like, like <laughs> the horse is running away. He's like, mm, I don't want to hang. Yeah. And then he gets in trouble for having cattle. Did the other dude steal the cattle? The, the other guy was a cattle. Yeah, he stole cattle. Basically, is what I got from it. <laughs> First time. <laughs> and there you go the first time meme yeah and at, oh go ahead no no i was just gonna say and at this point we've seen like two people die and i think this is where my adam quote comes in where he says people just be dying in this movie because <laughs> like both of the main the main people at this point right and yeah. air quotes have died at that right the they're just gone yeah. you're like all right well uh <laughs> Let me let no, me let what? me just tell you my note here. People be dying. 
See, people you said dying. it out loud too. <laughs> people just be dying up in here. Yeah, well, the main characters of the stories just die. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. So I guess they're not gonna be connected. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> By the second one, I was like, uh, maybe not. No, see, I was still holding out hope. I'm like, these are all gonna come together. I don't know how it's gonna be like come with a together. feather or something, but it's all coming back, and then it never does. Never does. The next one is meal ticket. This one was like the darkest. Oh. Like, was there you any think? humor? No. Yeah. So I, I was going to say, like, gradually it gets darker, but I don't know that that's true necessarily. Like, yeah, like the first one starts as like a dark comedy with more comedy. And then the second one mm-hmm. has a little bit of bits. But then this one, there's like, there's no, like no comedy. Bits. And then I don't know about the other two. Maybe, maybe the, the next one. Uh,. We'll get to them. Yeah. But this one, I, this one's probably my least favorite. I can be. I'm the thespian go. one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And yeah. not that it was bad. It was just. It's just kind of like different from the other ones, right? There's no like comedy to it. Yeah. Four score yeah. and seven it's years ago. Very... <laughs> <laughs> Four score. Four score. I felt I bad know. for him. I liked it. I'm not saying I disliked it. I'm saying it was my least favorite. Yeah. I guess. And I can say we haven't gotten to my favorite. I would say that I get, like, just because I have to rank them, it probably doesn't end up, like, being towards the Which I think we should do at the end, by the way. Yeah, but I didn't think there was anything, like, wrong with this one. It's just weird. Like, it's weird all the way through. Yeah. They like don't talk to each other, even though he's perfectly capable of talking. Like, yeah, it's just right. kinda, like I kind of when they first started, I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like a buddy thing. Like they're gonna be friends, right?" Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "Not." It's <laughs> literally a meal ticket. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, and then there's the counting chicken at the end. Mm-hmm. And then it was really funny because in a future one, I'm gonna just jump to it. The guy's like, "How high can a bird count? Well, at least oh, twenty four. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't catch that. That's great. <laughs> A counting chicken. Well, it's five plus seven. Yeah. No, but no, they said it in a weird way. Mm-hmm. Five and 11 or something. He, he yeah. said, uh, what's um, 18 take away seven? Yeah. I was like, what are we in like math class? Like that. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They don't say like minus. It's like take away. Yeah. Yeah. It's minus. Get your shit together. Well, and I have a question because it doesn't seem like they're making that much money. But then when he when Liam Neeson sees the the chicken, he like pulls out a fatty stack of cash, and it's like, where Dude, did you get right? that money from? <laughs> like, not I'm from this guy. I'm assuming it's kind of like uh, for big expenditures. That's what they do. They have like a bank amount. You know, that's what I assume. That or maybe he sold some stuff. <laughs> maybe he sold all the stage and stuff beforehand. You know, before dropping the kid in the water. <laughs> but, oh yeah. Uh, and that's how he got the money for it. I don't know. Um, or I thought maybe he like wasn't cutting him a deal. Like they weren't splitting it. Yeah, very they weren't well, actually. You know splitting oh yeah, well. no. yeah, it was ten cents to watch it though. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, it was the dead of winter. Mm-hmm. True. Maybe they raked him in in the summer. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, like as the winter presses on, fewer and fewer people started showing up. Yeah, and he's but like, yeah. I need a new show. Yeah, but with how fickle. He is. Like, I don't think he was tied to this guy for very long, but maybe he was. Who knows? Now, why wasn't there that much shock that this guy had no arms and no legs? I know. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I would have expected a couple gasps. Yeah. I don't know. Just me. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I thought it was going to be. kind of like new, maybe. That's true. I don't, you know? Yeah. Like, the characters, the main. The armless, legless dude's name is just Artist, while Liam Neeson's character's name is Impresario. Oh. <laughs> sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you now, most of these names just describe people, and then he has a full name. Interesting. Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I wonder if they had met... Like, part of me wonders, like, how this movie came to be, and you probably don't have it, like... I wonder if there were ones that they were playing around with being features or like short films at the very least. And so like maybe that one, they had more of a, 
story for it, but maybe not. Maybe they just wanted to name somebody that, and they were like, fine, this one. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I mean. Apparently, yeah. they wrote it as is. Like, this is oh, how really? they always envisioned this film. That's interesting. I thought so, too. Because everybody was like, oh, you're writing a miniseries, right? No, we're writing a movie with six stories in it. it was always their, like, thing. It was always their intention. Huh. Well, that doesn't. Mm. That also doesn't surprise me. It seems like they're very meticulous about the way that they write. But well, that's a good word. Yeah. Tim, we're learning words today. We got vignettes, meticulous. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what it. meticulous means, but words is just more than one. True story. But yeah, that one. It was sad when he gets just he drops the rock. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, this is where that's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of. You knew it was feeling, kind of. Yeah. 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 Especially when he first gets like the chicken or sees the chicken, she's like, oh no. Yeah, like, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With a sad connotation. With a sad, sad tone. <laughs> and you kind of feel like the kid the whole time like knows something's going to happen. He yeah. knows he's always not like long watching for him this like, world. oh no. Yeah. yeah. I, I will say that Dudley did a pretty good job of acting in this one in the state that like. Okay, so when he's performing, he clearly has a lot of lines, right? But like yeah. when he's not performing, it's really just like facial expressions that you rely upon. And I felt like he did a really good job of like you can tell something's up just because you can tell he's uneasy about it. Right. And from my understanding, I think this is the first time he's like really seen since Harry Potter. Oh. Since like he lost all that weight. Yeah. Because the actor here. The Not devil the all the time right. or whatever came out after that, right? Yeah, about three years later. <laughs> Even though, you know, timeline wise, they seem like it was the same. You, you could have gone closer with his dark materials. Was he in that? In season one. Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Going down the rabbit hole of Dudley's career. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, any more discussions on meal ticket? What about, uh, you know, he took it, he didn't even let him watch, or was it the girl that didn't? Oh yeah, no, that was that was impresarios. That was was impresarios because she offered to have him watch, and then she offered to you know lay with him. Mm. I forgot about that. That I forgot about that too. That's just awkward. (laughs) You could tell his face. He's like, oh no, right? He's still here. Give him some earbuds. Oh no. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Pull, Pull out that iPod. Yeah. Oof. Oof, indeed. <laughs> Did you have something else, Sam? No, I was just replaying that scene in my mind. And I was like, not good. Right? <laughs> but it leads us to All Gold Canyon. Yes. Mm. Oh. where? What, what's it called? Mr. Mr. Pocket? Mr. Mr. Pocket. Pocket. Oh, I'm going to find Mr. Pocket here. I'm going to find you, Mr. Pocket. I'm going to find you, boy. <laughs> Are you, are you in the center, to the left, or the right? His triangulation didn't make sense to me because he was triangulating <laughs> based off of the empties. Yes. You well, would, yeah. Which, if your triangulation is like that, you would go away from, like, you would want to go inwards towards it, not to where it points. True. Because he had found zero, 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 and then the big chunk was at the points of the zeros. Mm-hmm. You would assume it would have been at the center of the triangle, not the yeah. tip of the triangle. You, Yeah, you would think so. Yeah. Albeit, I didn't know how to do the gold mining stuff. <laughs> I was going to say, well, <laughs> clearly you don't know anything about the gold mining because I have no dogs in this race on if that's wrong or not. I, I really don't. I doubt it. Like logical, it doesn't make sense, but... I also didn't realize you dug up a bunch of dirt and then put it in the water. Oh, yeah. What did you think you did? I thought you grabbed, like, the rocks from the water. Oh. Like they were coming downstream. Oh, I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah, you scooped it up out of the water. Yeah. I, I mean, I think there's two different ways to do it, but yeah. Well, isn't that he, how he originally finds it, though? No, he digs a hole first. The first one, he digs a hole. Does he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, well, so maybe my – he didn't have a strainer. No. no, he didn't. They probably weren't invented yet. Probably not. Nonetheless, he's just some random dude. Um, I think my thing is, I just never seen, every time they de- depict a minor 49er, they're like already in the water. They're never digging the yeah, hole. Yeah, they're in the water right. with the sifter. Yeah, Yeah. Mm-hmm. so it's like, my head's like, 
You don't need to dig it. Just dig it. It's, kind of it's already in the it. creek. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was at this point that I realized that I would not like to live at any of this chime. Because I was like, I could not. Like, gold panning, I don't have the patience for that. There's she no doesn't. way I could have done okay. that. She says like, this yay for technology. <laughs> She's really good yeah. at finding shark teeth. Yeah, but I, well, that's the thing, though. Like, I'm enjoying, like, I'm choosing to do it. Well, you would be choosing to look for gold. Would you? I feel like there was also just this whole thing of, like, the gold rush where you had to look for it because you were starving to death. (laughs) Like, that's when I would fail. Too much pressure. (laughs) Too much. (laughs) How how was the character design on the 49er minor? I said it backwards. I thought it was good. I mean, I thought that um, this guy was a good guy to do it like the actor Mm -hmm. himself Mm -hmm. and then yeah i mean it looked like a crazy old man in the woods so that worked that checked out to me (laughs) and he kind of had uh you could tell he was kind of like a good dude though too oh yeah Mm -hmm. the eggs and stuff he went to go get the eggs Oh yeah. (laughs) he took them all and he was like and then he was like "Ah, yep the counting yeah and then uh, so he puts them back he's like "Ah, just one just one yeah how high can a bird count anyway (laughs) yes yeah (laughs) But I'm just so saying, what, yeah. he, he did not look like the Scooby Doo villain. That's true. No. He did not. <laughs> Give him a couple more months out there and he'd get that one. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> he was working on it. All right. So he gets like straight up assassined, assassinated. Mm-hmm. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which By is some young kid. Which is crazy because, like, I guess you would hear him for a while because it's like a valley, but still, like. Yeah. That sound travels. Yeah, but I think it was you, Adam, that was saying this, like, when we were watching it. It's like, that dude had to walk, like, all the way there. Like, he didn't bring a horse. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't like, know. Yeah, we don't see his campsite. <laughs> yeah, we don't see, like, where he was. But I guess, like, again, with the valley and where he was, it could have been easy, easily concealed. But still, it felt like he came up out of nowhere. I was like, oh. Like, out of nowhere, yeah. yeah. It was. It was just wild. Did you get that feeling at all during it, though, that you're like, oh, he's doing all this. Like, he's been there for a long time. Somebody's going to find him. Yes, because all the other main characters have died. Yep. <laughs> so the whole time you're like, great. <laughs> we just this deadpan kid, that. This guy is literally just straight up digging gold for someone else. <laughs> and this fucker lives. I guess I figured. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I figured that if anything, like an animal was going to get him because they kept oh, yeah. like. Showing all the uh, animals and stuff all like the that. Animals and stuff. Like I yeah. thought he'd get sick or an animal would get him. I didn't expect another person to like creep up in the middle of the meadow. <laughs> this was the most beautiful definitely place out of the six. Yeah. Yeah. Very peaceful. Like they did a good job with like all the butterflies coming back. Oh, yeah. Like they start and then they evaporate and then they come back. Like I liked that. For someone it made me think of Fantasia. Two thousand okay. maybe. Sure. Mm-hmm. I watched. I'm not weird. qualified yeah. to have an opinion on that. There's my weird <laughs> shit, except it's not weird, but it is. <laughs> it's weird to remember it all. Yeah. But I, my grandparents had it on VHS, so I watched it a bunch. They did gotcha. not have westerns <laughs> <laughs> or horror films for Tim's sake. <laughs> yeah. But I guess we were we were all pumped that he lived, especially after he yeah. got shot. And oh, I love yeah, his, absolutely. his line when he's like, there. you didn't hit anything important or something I like that. Yeah, you, you didn't hit anything important. You hit all guts. Yeah. <laughs> it went straight through. Dude, dude, we had just watched Our Flag Means Death. Yeah. Oh, oh, where he gets yeah. stabbed. And he's like, yeah. oh, do it right. Yeah. He's yeah. like, you got to avoid all the important parts or whatever. I knew there was continuity, but I was like, I don't think it was in this film yeah. that they talked about. Yeah, that's it. what it was from. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Uh, but, dude, it, like, came in and, like, upper shoulder and out, like, his, like, lower stomach because mm-hmm. of the angle. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Normally, you just see, like, the straight through, like, ni- like perpendicular with the body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this one was not at all. It's more realistic. Oh, yeah. I was happy they Depending. were, Tim, we're going to use Sam's word, meticulous. <laughs> meticulous. <laughs> In this big knit. <laughs> it's cool. I can't say well, Wyatt Earp. <laughs> I do wonder why the kid that shot him, like, sat there, took his time to, you know, smoke a cigarette. And mm-hmm. I thought he, the guy was going to jump up when he, the kid turns and watches the bird. Yeah. I was like, oh, the guy's going to jump up. Um, I thought it was going to disappear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, 
why do you take all that time to wait? Why wouldn't, like, this is kind of morbid, but why wouldn't you just make sure <laughs> the deed is done? Like, oh, why, it's called why, a double tap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, if you're that worried about it, I don't know. Why wouldn't you just finish it? But he's young. Yeah, maybe he did, he wasn't young worried young. about it. Like, he, he didn't understand the world. He wasn't old enough to be like, oh, I should double check that. He was more like, right. cool, the deed's done. Let me have a. Let me celebrate and smoke. <laughs> let me let me take one puff off of this tobacco. Take the edge <laughs> off. Yeah, and then he like puts it out, puts it back in his pocket. I'm like, yeah, that was such a waste. I think, yeah, we had said that to each other too. We're like, what the fuck? Like he takes all this time to roll it, and then you're like, oh, okay, he's gonna sit there and smoke it for a while, and then he like, nope, puts it out and puts it back in the yeah. like, what the fuck? Like what the fuck, man? It's not a good use of time. It was not at all. <laughs> no. Come he on, was clearly dude. a smart person, so yeah, yeah, Avi. And then, <laughs> and then, Mister Forty Nine er just walks away. Yep, with starts his, singing with his donkey. Yep, with his donkey. I will say, let's let's say we're four, we're through four of these, and I would only say that one of them is a musical thus far. True. Mm -hmm. So the whole musical aspect has been lost on me already. Yeah, <laughs> like, it depends on how you see the thespian one. Yeah, exactly. Like I can see that, and like they, some people like hum a little bit. I, yeah, I guess the thespian one you could you could stretch it because mm -hmm. it's a show. But I don't know. I was just for some weird reason. I you see Buster Scruggs with the guitar, and you're like, yep. all right, this movie's gonna have like <laughs> so many songs in it. <laughs> I think it's the combination of the fact that he's also like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. And so like right. if he had just been humming, like you could say like, "Oh, nope, the valley one is the same." But it's because he's like breaking the fourth wall and like singing to you that you're like, "Oh, yeah. oh yeah. this he's is a different continue vibe." Continue doing that. Yeah. Yeah. But then we finish the Gold Canyon, all Gold Canyon, and go to the mm. girl who got rattled. Oof, this one. This one was a lengthy one with President Pierce in it and whatnot. President Pierce. That little fucking oh, right. dog. For a second, I was like, what? <laughs> Dude, the, <laughs> Dude, first time, the, the first time they said President Pierce, I was like, why did they name? What's up with President Pierce? Was, it, <laughs> was that the president at that time? She was a little dog. Oh. <laughs> little Jack Russell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that one was just, they were, we're on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, and what a deal to get 320 acres for just showing up or 640. Dude, the uh, 1872 the Act. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's, Dude, that's yeah, the dream. You got to build a house and whatnot, and you know, people just be dying back then. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know how yeah, hard it is. The viability of getting there in the first place. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Have you played the Oregon Trail? <laughs> you die constantly. Oh, yeah. I actually have yep. not. Do you die constantly? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can get so, the new one on your phone, I think. I, so I played it somewhat. I was at the tail end of it. So, Tim, you probably were. They didn't have it where I grew up on the computers. I would play it on the computer and like computer lab all the time. Right. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I remember doing that in seventh grade because everybody was doing it. And I was like, oh, I'll play this. Yeah. And, and then I just kept dying, and I'm like, this is dumb. Do All right, let's start over. <laughs> Do you die by random people? Yeah. Do you yeah, die by you... people chucking you over into the river? Yeah. <laughs> there's there's a lot to it. <laughs> you die most of the time. Do you die? Well, we already covered. I was just going to say, like, do you die by uh, getting hung? Uh, I, don't I don't. That know. might be a little too... It's more of PG like 13. things that just naturally happen to you. You were mauled like by bears. The yeah, bears. Um, you were attacked or drowned like, in the river. You drowned. You know, uh, not scurvy, but what was the big one? Um, Smallpox. No, there's another like disease that would happen all the time to you on the, in the game. I don't remember. Uh, it. I can't. I can't remember right now. But I was just curious if. The film deaths match the Oregon Trail no, death. No, I don't think so. Just the people intervening deaths, Yeah, the, the first, just, this is the only one that's really the Oregon Trail. Right. I know, but I was just, oh, okay, okay. I was just curious, because I haven't played it. Yeah, you, well, you should try it. I know, I, I might. Do it. <laughs> do it, do it. 
<laughs> we are known as the Oregon Trail generation. Are we now? Not you, apparently, but Tim and, <laughs> Tim and I are. That's a real thing? Yeah. Yeah, no. Like, the millennials are also known as Oregon Trail generation. Okay. You don't want to take my word for that. You, there's, like, a sense I'm of doubt. I'm just confused. It's probably because you never played. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like, really? Like, what? Anyway, so basically this chick is going with her brother on the Oregon Trail because he knows somebody, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, that might be interested in marrying her, but, like, does yeah, he? has a business opportunity, and the guy's single. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like... So he's trying to sweeten the deal, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And, like, the sister makes it known that, like, he's like, eh, we'll Hashtag see about that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then dude just dies of tuberculosis. Like, instantaneously. Well, what's funny is they're talking about somebody with a cough when they're at the yeah, end of the I beginning. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. They're like, I wouldn't let somebody stay here that's contagious or whatever, blah, blah. And then this guy dies of tuberculosis. I like, know. Uh... And what's funny, normally, like, a lot of people go out west to get better to from TV. It. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the owner of the shi- not the Shining Hotel, the Stanley Hotel. Mm-hmm. He went out to Colorado to the Rockies. He actually survived and got better because of it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it was a thing. Doc Holiday though didn't make it. Doc did not make it. I'm all up on my westerns right now. Once again, I am confused. <laughs> uh, yeah. You just need to watch Tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> Val Kilmer. Okay. Pretty solid role. And tuberculosis involved there too. Yar. Okay, I'm caught up. That's not really a. That movie was from like 1993, so no spoilers. I don't count that. Uh, but yeah, this Billy Knapp guy, William, he mm-hmm. seems like a friendly dude. Yeah. Uh, let me let me think on some stuff. On I'll get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> me me and Mr. Arthur have been doing this for 12, 12 years, I think. I, yeah, twelve years this this winter. Uh, he's, a, he's a good guy. He can read a plane like nobody else. And yeah, he can. Straight up. He, he can. <laughs> and you he, see it later. <laughs> you and, do see it later. And he can just handle some Native Americans. <laughs> I'd say he's just an old man in a profession where men die young. There you Freaking go. You ever, you ever heard that phrase? <laughs> I have. It's just I, I didn't think about it. Yeah. That was a perfect way to say it, though. <laughs> but just yeah, I mean, he is dying. pretty badass. Like, yeah, I mean, he's straight up just knows how to handle himself. And uh, him and his Winchester, which of course he's got a Winchester, so you know, sure, there it is. But and then he the Winchester's hands the... the rival that won the West. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, okay, that's news to me. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, the lever action Winchester. Yeah. Oh, the Archimedean um, action. Yes. Levers and whatnot. <laughs> um. Anyways, he hands he hands this girl. Let me give her her name. Uh, where Alice? I always forget her name. Yeah. Longabow. Longabow. Yeah. He calls Miss Longabow. Miss Longabow. Mm-hmm. We ain't licked yet. <laughs> My yeah. And then he he gives her the pistol with just two bullets. Yeah. Right. She for him see- and for her. Yeah, she seemed like she was in a daze, dude. Like when she was staring at the ground, like the prairie dogs. Oh, yeah. yeah, She was just like completely zonked. I don't know what happened, but she seemed like she was on drugs. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Look, probably dehydrated. (laughs) Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah, There you go. (laughs) You actually, you know what? I never saw her eat once. Exactly. You know what? Let's go with that. I think she was malnutritionized. (laughs) Nutritionized. Making up words on the fly. Uh, yeah, but I loved it when Billy Knapp comes up to her and he's like, hey, so that your dog, President Pierce, it's not my dog. Yeah, oh. not my dog. <laughs> well, I was going to say that people are upset with it. Um, you mind if I put it down? Yeah. Pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's better not to let it get away. And, you know, whatever. and then he goes to do it. And he <laughs> can't do it. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I should have let him shoot it. He's a better shot. Blah, blah, blah. I should like, deputize. What? I should deputize Mr. Arthur. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, is he a sheriff? Yeah. I don't know what he is. I don't either. I yeah, I have no idea, but he's apparently a terrible shot. I was gonna say, I think that's like <laughs> what I enjoy about him is like that's pretty early on, right? And so it's like right. yeah. he like 
it puts off this aura of like, oh yeah, he can like I can handle it. I know everything, and then he like can't get it done. He, he just but can't, you're yeah. still kind of like, oh, he tried. Like you're not like I <laughs> yeah, don't know. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you kind of like feel bad for him a little bit. <laughs> Did you catch like um, you know how it goes to the book in between? Yeah. Did you mm-hmm. catch like the last thing um, it said about it? That one. That mm-hmm. like Mr. Mr. Arthur didn't know what he'd tell Billy Knapp or whatever. Yeah, he didn't know yeah. how to tell oh. Billy Knapp. I know. I thought that was sad. That was sad because yeah. I was like, they seem Billy Knapp and Miss uh, M- Miss Alice seem to get along pretty well. I know. I yeah. was like, oh. You know what? And they they had just kept that Forty Nine er alive, and I'm like, oh, cool. More people are gonna. Li-. Nope. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> gets, take it away. Guy gets hit in the head with a. Not a tomahawk, but a mace version uh, of a tomahawk. Yeah, shit. I can't remember the name of them right now. A Damn hammer. It. That makes me mad. <laughs> no, they, they have a... Oh, a mallet. Can't I think of the name. Club. No. He gets bonked on the head. Bonked? Goes down. Which, and they, go ahead, Tim. I was going to say, a lot of the times those had spikes on them. Oh, God. Yeah. Um. That one did not. Like I... I can't remember the name of it right now, but yeah. Yeah, he he gets up and he finds her dead. Yep, he he, he well she probably assumed he was done for. He got yeah. hit in the head and he went yeah. to scalp him and she probably <laughs> I actually <laughs> I had awful. seen in other movies the Native Americans getting on the side of the horse. Oh, okay. So that wasn't like I was like, Oh god, there's he's on the other yep, there he is. Yeah, riding on the side and then yeah. Had you not seen that, Sam? I hadn't, no. So I was not expecting that. People can do crazy stuff on horses. Yeah. Especially when a lot of your time is just around horses. True right? story. Now, how long do you, wh- how many animals do you think we tried to ride before we domesticated the horse? That's a good question. <laughs> Probably quite a few. <laughs> just you know, think there's about a lot that. of questions <laughs> like that in the world. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would like but, to be like, oh yeah, we were totally smart, and like not that many. And then I'm, you think about all the dumb people in the world, and you're oh, like, yeah. probably quite a few. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> definitely tried to ride a grizzly bear, yeah, for or sure. a hippopotamus, something like that, or a tiger. A tiger. A tiger wouldn't work that great. A bear would work better. It's sturdier. Sturdy. Bears Hefty. are too jumpy. Yeah. Bear, I mean, tigers are too jumpy. Mm-hmm. Right, they're too nimble and stuff. They'd forget you're there, and then. You know, next thing you know, you're falling out of a tree or something. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she dies. I know. Another main character down. <laughs> Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Bull. Um, <laughs> so we get to our last one. This was the most confusing one for the me. The mortal I'm just remains. come out and say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was, to me, it was Waiting for Godot. I could what? see that. Waiting for Godot is a play. Um, that is within arm's reach of me. Uh, <laughs> it's about nothing. It's a it's a play about nothing. Two guys go and stand and talk. They just talk oh, okay. the whole time. The sunny episode, waiting for Big Mo. They actually quote like a decent chunk of the lines from there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like the the scene with Charlie messing around with his shoe, like his new shoes. Yeah, that, that's from the play because. The guy, really? Yeah, the guy's like, I can't get this shoe to work. It's always something inside it. So that, it was a very clever use of the story, like but, adaptation. Huh. But yeah, basically, yeah. like nothing happens. They're just like waiting around. They're just talking. Yeah, and that's kind of how the carriage ride is. Yeah, like there's right. especially with that one guy who tells like <laughs> the trapper. He just, yeah, he tells his stories like so long, and people are I just love like making it. End. <laughs> the trapper's great. But I think my favorite two are just the the bounty hunters. Yeah. Well, we yeah. don't want to hey. be called that. <laughs> they also sing, so yeah, exactly. I know. Like three out of six. I yeah. <laughs> well, and when he sings, like the one, the one guy, not um, Mad Eye Moody, the other guy, he has mm-hmm. like crazy eyes, like in oh, the yeah. moonlight. It's like, <laughs> and like his facial hair and everything. I don't know. He just looks like a wild person. Like we prefer in certain to be known shots. as Reapers. <laughs> yeah. You're just like trying to figure out. You're just thrown into it. It's like it's like a bottle episode too, where you're only in one location the whole time. It'll be, we do enter the hotel at the end, but mm-hmm. uh, it, so it's not a bottle technically speaking. Um, but yeah, the two Reaper bounty hunter dudes I just found hilarious. Like 
One of them starts crying when the other one sings. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Frenchman is just, <laughs> I don't know. The lady was just crazy. There, there are two kinds of people. I don't know. Unlo- one, one guy said unlucky and lucky. Yeah. What was the other one, though? I don't uh, remember. I remember what the trapper said. People are weasels. No, ferrets. Ferrets, They're yeah. Ferrets. Ferrets, ferrets, yeah. People are ferrets. Uh, and I was like, okay. People are ferrets. Yeah. All right. Like, good take, man. <laughs> the lady, so, like, sinners and not sinners, basically, was what she was getting Okay. At. Yeah, because yeah, I couldn't much. remember. Like, I, I almost feel like I blacked out with some of her stuff because wasn't she basically just, like, complaining about her relationship? With her, with her husband named... Dr. Betterman, also known as Better Man. Yeah. Yeah. I was just laughing for, about that. <laughs> yeah. He's so great that I had to spend an entire three years with my my daughter and her husband. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the one guy, was it the trapper or the French guy? That the was Frenchman. Like, he was like, you should not spend like your time with your... They did not like you there. Yeah, like I'm just right, gonna yeah. come out and say it. I thought that was hilarious. That oh, he yeah. was just like straight up throwing shade immediately. She's like a line into her story of like, I hung out with my daughter or whatever, and he's immediately like, yeah, no. Yeah, no. She didn't want you there. Nope. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. I just liked the like bluntness of it. I guess. <laughs> right. And then the trapper. The trapper's stories were just funny. You know, he's just a little tedious though. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I, he, You know, they told me I couldn't come to the saloon. It's the only saloon in town. <laughs> you can just, like, see it, though. Like, as he's, like, talking about, like, what's happened to him, you're yeah. like, yeah, checks out. Yeah, and then it's, they eventually arrive at the hotel or Fort Mills. Yeah. And they're like, yep, we got to get the guy off the top. What do you, what's he in for? I don't know. Yeah, and then they're like, not fighting, but they're like, oh, let's figure out where he's going to sleep or whatever. Like, Oh, let's put him up in the lobby and give him a newspaper. <laughs> and scare guests. I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, I thought it was funny where like they had gone inside already. They were like taking the body up. And I think they panned back to the other three who were like deciding if they were going to go in or like talk right. about their luggage or something. And then they pan back and they're still not up the steps. Like they're not, only yeah. halfway up. I was like, nice. Ladies first. Yeah. But they, I loved it when the lady, her name is Lady in this. Oh, I didn't know of that. Of course. Yeah. yeah. She, she like is gasping for air. The Frenchman sticks his head out. You got to stop the coach. He doesn't stop. Yeah. The coachman he doesn't, doesn't stop, stop for anyone. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think the I don't think you're stopping. Yeah, I kept waiting. That was like the last line for this one in the book or something about how the coachman doesn't stop. And I kept waiting for that to be relevant. Like I figured like, oh, okay, she can't breathe or she's like gasping for air or whatever. Or I figured like something would happen to one of them and like yeah. they were gonna die because like he wouldn't stop and that that's like not what happens at all. Yep. Mm-hmm. This I one was, like, was called the mortal remains. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. But I was very confused by the end. It just kind of ends. Like yeah. they go in the hotel yeah. with the guy like closes the door. Yeah. It's just like it just done. kind of ends. Yeah. And it just kind of ends. <laughs> now, okay, so we've watched all six now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Do we want to rank them? Sure. Sure. Who wants to go first? You. Yeah. All right. I would, the mortal <laughs> mortal remains is my favorite. I do, knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I I am I have a soft spot for good banter. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah. Like if it's just cleverly written banter, I am there for it. And mm. I feel like you don't necessarily need everything to be tied in a nice bow. So like Oh no, I don't. You kinda like when it's weird. So let's get weird. <laughs> um <laughs> I would say probably the second one. I would I'm gonna go with uh All Gold Canyon. Nice. Mm-hmm. The ballad of Buster Scruggs. Yeah. Near Algodonis, the girl who got rattled, and then my last one is Meal Ticket. Nice. Yeah. Like I said when we first discussed this, I it's not that I disliked Meal Ticket, it was just my least favorite. <laughs> it's it's rough. It's a rough yeah. one. I, it's not it's like it's my yeah. I just it was like that's dark at the end. I don't need to watch that. <laughs> yeah. 
Sam, are you writing your order down? Yeah. All right. Tim, are I you? I got mine. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no. Okay. It's there. Got it. All right. So my first one is Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Classic. Nice. Uh, second one, All Gold Canyon. Uh, the Girl Who Got Rattled. Nice. Near Al Godone's meal ticket and then mortal remains <laughs> and I, I put mortal remains last because i was like western right i don't know For, it's I'm the least thinking western. western and it's the least western so I, that's probably why I, you know i would it's, agree with that, that could have been in anything besides the fact that they were bounty hunters and that's not really a thing anymore you know but um yeah i, I think they were all good but yeah right that's exactly that's how i feel i was like okay mm-hmm. like i i think my thing with the near Algodones one is it's so short. I feel like there's not much substance. It's very short, yeah. Like, but the, they do a lot within it. Yeah, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs has more content. Sure. In that short period of time, maybe it's just because it's a happier feel. And yeah, more... it's more like energetic and like he's goofy and does stuff. Yeah. This is more of just like a realism. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they foil each other pretty well. Yeah. All right. Has Sam? Does Sam have her results in? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Um, I like Gold Canyon first, actually. That's nice. our favorite overall. Well, let me let her finish. overall overall, yeah. and then I like the James Franco one second. So near near Algodones, and then I like Mortal Remains, and then mm. I have the Thespian one. <laughs> Meal ticket. Yeah, and then I have the girl, and I have Buster last. And it's really nothing. Wow. About, it's like nothing about Buster. I just like. I feel like. It could like be pulled out and be something different, you know? Yeah. Or like, and or it could be longer, or it could be its own thing. Yeah. You could do a whole movie that is literally just about Buster Scruggs. Seriously. I just realized he's basically Roger Rabbit. Yeah, he kind of is. Like, like cartoon, like he's a cartoon character in a real world. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, and I did jockey like the last three around quite a bit because I was like. Ooh, depending on the day, like I could put the the thespian one lower, and I could put like the girl higher. I could put Buster higher. Like the last three are kind of like I don't know. I feel like Gold Canyon was my favorite though. I would like, say overall that was all three of our like. I know that one ranked pretty high. Yeah, it was ranked the highest. Yeah. Interestingly enough. Yeah. 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 And even though Algodones was short, um, I don't know. as Tim and I are like, yeah, it doesn't have much substance. I'm like. Fuck you guys. <laughs> it does have pan shot. Exactly. It pan does shot. have pan shot. Pan pan shot. shot. <laughs> it couldn't have picked a better actor for it. I pan know. Shot. I know. <laughs> so right as I'm uh, saying here, being like, oh, yeah, Buster's last because it's like, you know, it's just different. You like think of pan shot and it's like, well, shot. he skyrockets that one up for me. So you never know. If you have a normal bank teller, that one drops. I agree. Like if that becomes more serious i feel like that one drops for me all right any other people people things to say you people you people you ferrets (laughs) people are ferrets we start um referring to our listeners as ferrets i mean we don't have very many so yeah sure (laughs) tim any objections no now let's see if we can remember it (laughs) that's the key (laughs) uh yeah so any other notes tim uh let's Double check here. Oh, dang. I didn't get to do my whole theme song there. Anyways, so the cast. Buster Scruggs is played by Tim Blake Nelson. <laughs> He's in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Yeah. The the kid, the guy who kills him, is played by Wally Watson. Willie Watson. Oh, uh, Wally Watson would have been even more yeah. fun to say. But he's in Live by Night. Oh, okay. That's a Ben Affleck movie about Ybor City. Yeah. Which is a part of Tampa. That's why I said it like that, Tim. Sorry. No. Curly Joe is played by Clancy Brown, who is in Buckaroo Bonsai. He's Rawhide. Ah, I knew I recognized him. Mr. Krabs. Like, figure it out. Nice. The first Frenchman in this movie, there are multiple, <laughs> is played, played by David Crumholtz. He's in the Santa Claus. Yes. You pointed him out. You're like, that's he, Bernard. Yes, it is. He always looks like Tim. He always looks like um, what's his name from Star Wars? Poe from Star Wars. Oh, he does. What is his hmm. name? I, Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Oh, yeah. He kind of they have similar hair. 
that's uh-huh. why they look the, more or less the same, but they're not. Anyways, so that's it for the Battle of Buster Scruggs. Very small cast, comparatively to some. There are eight. Also. I have 18 people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Cowboy is played by James Franco. I, I wrote down 127 hours. He's in a ton. He's in a ton. <laughs> yeah. It's James Franco. Who doesn't know James Franco? Exactly. Right? Right. Like Dave now, Franco's better. Now, a lot of people know the teller, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, I should have said the disaster artist. Yeah. Classic. You oh. just did. Did she say it? I wasn't listening. Mm-mm. No, but no. you did. Oh, yeah, I know. So. I should have written... So I only write one down, Tim. You should have credited him with that sooner. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, you did such did a good not. job. <laughs> uh, but people don't know who the teller is. It's Stephen Root. And yeah, I, I have, couldn't have told you his name. I it slips my. It comes and goes for me. I would I say just, it goes more than comes. But um, yeah, phrasing. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, he is in dodgeball. I that's I know office space is huge for him, like stapler and whatnot, but. He will always be Gordon. Gordo or Gordo? Oh, Gordo. His name's Gordon, but they call him Gordo. That's what I thought, because I was like, I, I can just picture um, him getting yelled at. Oh, race a mad. Like, <laughs> See, I can't unsee the stapler guy. I saw Dodgeball before I saw Office Space. So there you go. What about you, Tim? Uh, Yeah, I, would, I recognize him more from dodgeball but he used like the stapler guy voice yeah. so that like immediately was like <laughs> i would yeah. say those two voices are very similar though well no he has like a very specific way he when he says my stapler and so okay. like exactly. you know he's like he's more high pitch and dodgeball okay mm-hmm. i'll, I'll, I'll he talks agree more like happy and high pitch you know? yeah it's like yeah, there's my wife you know it's hard to do <laughs> he's always um he's always out of breath in dodgeball is he that's funny yeah, the the way he speaks, it sounds like he's out of breath. Yeah. Uh, but the posse leader, the guys that were going to hang the cowboy, mm-hmm. he was played by Ralph Innocent. Innocent. He's in he's in Game of Thrones, but he's also the Green Knight in the Green Knight. Oh, nice. Mm, yep. And that is near Algonones. Nice small cast. I get. Th- just keep waiting. Yeah, and just keep. Impresario is played by Liam Neeson. Mm-hmm. He's in Taken. Nice. Taken 2. Yeah, I don't feel like saying those that. Those movies there. suck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've actually talked about those movies before. Like, that yeah. was the first like hot take. The first one wasn't bad when it came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I was going to say. The first but one was, like, for its it time. It was kind of... Yeah, it kind of kicked off a thing, right? Like Kidnapping people A more. certain... No, it kicked off like a, <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it kicked off like a kind of movement when it comes to action movies, but almost in a way that people were like, okay, we need more realism. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then Taken, Taken went from like this thing where like, he was like, oh, sweet to like, yeah, it's not as cool as like John Wick or something or like Jason, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, well, I won't. If I won't you're going to like, <laughs> like tip the scales in the unrealistic way, like you'd rather have it be something else. It's like yeah. another way of looking at it is it's similar. Like if I was going to do like a, like a, like a simile analysis or whatever analogy, that's the word mm-hmm. I would say. Um, Transformers. Transformers. Lots of explosions. Honestly, the CGI in that movie is fucking phenomenal. Really? Yeah, it's great. Oh, you should go back and just watch all the moving parts. It's insane. Yeah, I don't think I yeah. paid attention at the time. Yeah, it, you. if you go back, it still holds up. Yeah. But yeah. It, all people remember is Boom Boom, Michael Bay. Exactly. Michael Bay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the meme comes from. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I feel like it kicked off some of, like, the crazy CGI. Like, going forward, like, we got better cgi ever since that film and worse and worse we've got a lot worse too i've seen zombies i know that's what i was um, thinking of oh exactly <laughs> but the artist is played by harry melling he i i like that he had kind of a comeback story like from harry potter because oh, he yes. was dudley dursley oh uh, in real life i was like he yeah, has a comeback story he Gets thrown <laughs> off a bridge. <laughs> you guys didn't see him Did at the I end? Did I miss part of this film? 
<laughs> no, yeah, the actor. I'm glad he had he like he's come back around. Like he does a solid job every time he's in a movie. Yeah, and he's like freaking creepy in that other movie. The devil oh, are you talking all about time or whatever? Was he the guy that him. had all um the devil all the time? You would I think you would like it. It's the one where Robert Pattinson what is the the meme from there? Oh shit. He like he, Robert Pattinson is equally creepy in this movie and he like has a a saying that he like shouts and it's like it's for amazing. that year like that's all anybody said. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. I, that's though. all I said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tom Holland's the main character in that one. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a slower burn. I can't believe you haven't seen it. It's up your I feel like it's up your alley. I feel like it's almost a western. Yeah. It's got western aspects to it. It's not set in the west. It's not okay. cowboys, but it's set in that like time period. It's actually in West Virginia. So West Virginia. So it has the word West in it. Hmm. Uh but that's meal ticket for you. I did not name the chicken. Uh, what the because hell? I didn't get its name. Oh, they don't have credits? Mm-mm. Oh, they just got a rando chicken. <laughs> that could have been two different chickens for all I know. <laughs> Five different chickens. <laughs> The Prospector, though, is played by Tom Waits. Yes. He's in The Dead Don't Die. Yes. All right. So that is All Gold Canyon. I did not. You didn't write the other guy down? I did not. Doesn't care about him. Sorry, other guy. Sorry, young kid. Yeah. Half of the people are named like posse number one. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Billy Knapp is played by Bill Heck. Bill Heck. What a last name. I know. I saw him come up in the credits, and I was like, who is this person? He has a fantastic name. (laughs) He's in Lock and Key. He plays Rendell. Have you Um, seen that show, Tim? Yeah. It's been a while, though. I haven't watched the new kind of that one. It was a good show, though, what I did watch of it. He's the dad. Yeah. Like, he plays the dad. um, The Lock. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then Alice. What's her last name, Sam? Long Longabo. It's played by Zoe Longabo. Kazan. 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 So I recognized her voice, but not her. her. Face. So she's like in What If? She's in Ruby Sparks. She does a lot of rom coms. She sounded very familiar to something specific that I couldn't figure out. All right, Sam. Now it's going to drive me Sam's crazy. biting her tongue. So I feel like she looks like a couple different people because when mm-hmm. I first saw her, I was like, oh, it's. It's Sorcy Ronan, like the girl from yeah. Little Women. Can't remember in Lady Bird and all that. Like I feel like she kind of looks like her, and then I also feel like she kind of looks like who you thought she was. Who did you think she was? You know, once you told me who it was, I erased who I thought it was. I just, <laughs> I just had a blank. I thought, I thought Bill Heck was Scott Eastwood at first, <laughs> which is not true. He has it's like not a, he has like different Scott chin. Eastwood has like a draw. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. For some weird reason, I mm-hmm. thought I saw Scott Eastwood's name in the credits, and I was like, that's him. Found him. Gosh, who is that other chick she looks like? I had it, and then I lost it. Anyway, she looks like somebody else as well. And so every time I see this girl, I'm like, oh, it's one of them. And then it, like, my brain has to, like, go is through it the from Rolodex. That awkward moment, that girl? Maybe. And I have to, like, go through the Rolodex and be like, nope, it's actually this chick. Oh, it's Rooney Mara. I feel like she kind of looks like I Rooney said Mara. Rooney Mara. Yeah. But Rooney Mara, I know, is older. Older. She's not old. Let me let me get that straight. She's just older than this girl. <laughs> so I don't know if either of those two were who you were thinking of, Tim. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still struggling with it. But Mr. <laughs> Arthur is played by... Oh, real quick. Zoe has also been an entire movie. They made an entire Oregon Trail movie that she was in. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know what it's called. So she did this twice? Yeah, she's gone on the fucking Oregon Trail twice. <laughs> Woof. Who chooses to do that? Mr. Arthur for 15 years. <laughs> yeah. But I'm ch- yeah, I know. Nice transition right there. And he's played by Granger Hines. I haven't seen him before, but he was such a prominent character. You felt said like, you like five down. words for the first like 15 minutes he was in the movie. But then he gets pretty chatty towards the end. <laughs> he gets very chatty. Um. Oh, I didn't even say four hundred dollars a steep price. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they it were is. so upset about the price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's in Doctor Death, which just sounds interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, 
And thus ends the girl who got rattled. Mm -hmm. Now, the largest cast that I have written down is for the mortal remains here. And that's John Joe O'Neill. He plays the Englishman. Gotcha. First singer. Crazy eyes. He's in The Queen's Gambit. Really? I don't know who. I haven't seen that movie in two years. Yeah. By the way, did you guys know that Queen's Gambit came out two years ago? Boom. Dudley's also in that. Dudley is also in that. See? So he had like a couple of years where it was like, hey, I'm skinny. And then it's like, you Still see here. him everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, too. Were you just like in shock that that was two years ago? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I yeah. Know. It came out the year of COVID, right? I think so. Yeah. Summer. Mm-hmm. Um, the Irishman is played by Brendan Gleeson. Great actor. And Bruges. Oh, you didn't want to say Bruges. Paddington, too? Or Paddington, too. Tim's favorite movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God. And then he's also in Harry Potter. He's in so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Frenchman is played by Saul Rubinek. He's German, not French, interestingly enough. But he is in Unfor... The fuck did I write here? Can't read his notes. Unforgiven. There are 18 of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Lady is played by Tiny Daly. She's Tiny? In- I know. So her name is spelled T-Y-N-E. And I'm like... I'm 90% sure that's tiny. Not yeah, tiny. What else would it be? Uh, but she's in Judging Amy. Just always be judging people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then the trapper is played by Chelsea Ross. I thought he seemed familiar, but I couldn't. The name also sounds familiar. He's in Major League. Mm. Mm. But yeah, that's the model remains. And that finishes the cast of the whole movie of The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Is that your biggest later. cast that you had to do? It's definitely one of them. I think Hail Cesar. Any Cohen Brother film? <laughs> Cohen Brother films are just like, <laughs> all these all actors want to be in my movie, so might as well. Yeah. Same with like Wes Anderson. That's true. Tarantino does the same thing. They kind of have their posse of people. Yeah. They're like, they're not indie, like, they're not indie filmmakers at this point, right? Like, they're very big, but no. they, they yeah. still kind of give off that indie vibe. Yeah, a little bit. More than more than like a big blockbuster. More than Michael Bay. More than Michael fucking Bay. <laughs> that guy knows explosions. Uh, but yeah, the Coen Brothers wrote directed this uh, in a shocking turn of events. They did Fargo. Wow. Call back. Go watch that episode. Listen to it. Wow. Our, go listen to it, our ferrets. Yeah, ferrets. Sam's trying to be like edgy, like Rob McElhenney. <laughs> no, I just really like. I, like people are ferrets. I people find are that funny. ferrets. <laughs> uh, and then they also did Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. We did. We recorded that one last season. Um, but yeah. Any other notes by me? Do do do. Oh. Oh shit. Buster Scruggs pulls up a uh, two black aces and two eights. Right. The dead man's hand. Apparently. Oh. I was wondering the significance of that. Yeah, apparently anybody who's played that hand in like Western movie gets killed. Ah. Oh, is that the hand he had? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why. Okay, because I saw a two pair and I was like, that's not bad. I right. know. I was like, two pairs is not bad. as to why he didn't want to play it. Yeah. If you know everybody dies, he plays that hand. Yeah. yeah. It was really odd because the guy was like, no, I'm out. And I'm I was out. like, this does not look like a bad hand. I'm That's so like, confused. That looks like a decent hand, man. Yeah. You got two pair. <laughs> Why do people hate this hand? That's funny. What specifically was it? It was two eights. And two aces. Mm-hmm. Both black. Two aces. That's right. Yeah. Well, what was the th- the four? Ugh. Wait. Yeah, he had five cards, didn't he? It was five card draw. You got to look it up. He's Googling. Yeah. Googling. Googling. Uh, it's a, uh, I guess it doesn't matter what the last card is. Yeah, no. It's just no. those four. I just wanted to know what his was, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got to find that still. Go back. But the critics yeah. get... Oh, wait. This movie was nominated for three Oscars. Not it's shocking. Not shocking, yeah. Won seven. Not seven Oscars. I was won like, seven other awards. And then it was thir- nominated for three and it won seven. That math doesn't work out. <laughs> and then it was nominated for 38 other awards. Dang. Uh, the critics gave this an 89%. Audience gave it a 77%. IMDb gave it a 7.3 out of 10, and Google with an 84%. So decent ratings. Mm-hmm. Now, the man who picked this movie again, would you be flipping this on? Oh, 100%. You near-do-weller? 
that uh, means something, but I don't remember. Ear. Was that uh, in this movie? Yeah. No. Okay. It's I was just like, like an old person term, like from that time. Okay. How about you, Sam? Um, oh, sorry, Tim. Yeah. No, I was I, like, are you going to yeah. let him talk some more? Nope. Tim is <laughs> yeah. done. Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, <laughs> this movie, or, you know, it's just great in general. I think it has a little bit for everybody. It is Western, obviously. So if you, that theme doesn't suit you, um, it is a little darker. But I still think somebody, you know, most people can find enjoyment out of this. Um, I don't think I'm wrong because it didn't win awards. So that's uh, true. It did win awards. So ha. It's on Netflix. I don't know. You know, a lot of people have been getting rid of Netflix, but if you still got it, it's worth the watch, in my opinion. They are dropping it, Sam. I know that face. Drop it like it's hot. Drop yeah. it like it's hot. They said they were making an ad version of it, but it's at a lower cost. Drop it like it's right. hot. Right. But typically that means it's going to go up in the future. But nonetheless. Sorry. Right. Did you say my name? Sure. Say my name. <laughs> I just want to say, say name, that Tim say has picked name. both of the musicals. We've only done two, and he's You're picked welcome. them both. Two for two. Yeah. Tim's a musical fan. Yeah, apparently. So send him all fan. of your musical recommendations. <laughs> yeah. Mostly cats. <laughs> I meant to say that earlier, but I forgot. But it came back just in time before we ended the episode, nice. so I had to get that out of my system. Um. But yeah, um, I liked it a lot. I flip it on. I think there, I agree with your sentiment, Tim, that like there's got to be one of these stories that like kind of works for somebody. You know what I mean? Because right. like, yeah. like, yes, they're the same, but a decent chunk of them are different, like solidly different. And so even though you kind of have like the Western theme over it, like it's not overbearing. Like, right. I would say, like, Mortal Remains would probably, like, be an accessible one for somebody that isn't looking for She's the Western She's talking about theme me. Because it's not, <laughs> like, they're just in a carriage. Anyway, yeah, I would flip it on. Adam? Yeah, so I'm a, real quick, near-do-well. A near-do-weller is a <laughs> lazy person, like, irresponsible. Oh. You don't want to be a near-do-weller. Near-do-weller. Don't know hmm. where that word came from. Anyways, I you know what? I'm going to flip it on. I enjoyed oh, yeah. it. Uh I mean, I didn't, the one that I le liked least, I still had, I still found enjoyment out of it. Mm -hmm. And that sounds really weird when a guy gets chucked off a cliff. But like, I mean, like I didn't hate my time watching it. Like I would also say, Tim, this, would you maybe agree with this? It's a more modern Western. Like we're not talking like the 1970s obviously did not 1970s and before did mu movies differently, obviously. Um, sure. Those westerns are like the when I think of a western, I'm thinking of like John Wayne, mm -hmm. Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking more classic drama led, like western. Like seven um, words are spoken the whole movie. Yeah, and there's a lot of like stare downs and riding horses through, you know, yeah. hour long. <laughs> yeah, but part of the thing is just travel from one place to another or, or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I would agree it's more of a modern sort of situation. Which um, I think I'm I'm more suited towards that. Yeah, I like them both. I like I like seeing the goofy westerns too, or like things <laughs> that are just thematically in western air, you know, or like um, spaghetti westerns, like theme punk sort of stuff in the western setting is yeah. enjoyable to me. So yeah, I mean, there's a there's a lot. I mean, but I would say I, I agree with you. It's more of a modern day western. Cool. So three flip ons. Look at that. Yep. But yeah, I think the Mortal Remains one for me was like, yep, this is it. This is for me. I can watch this. <laughs> it's just the uh, just banter. Um. Anyways, you're about to say something, Sam, and I just kept rolling. No. Okay. Not true. Not true. False. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to next week. Let me spin. Here we go. Oh, the wheels already looking smaller. Uh -huh. What'd you get? I got whoops, I missed the boat. <laughs> Are you going to pick the movie that... I am picking the movie. That you put this category on for? <laughs> I am going to pick the movie, so strap in. It's like a six-hour long movie. All righty. That's what I always told my brother, at least. So, yeah, you near-do-well and ferrets. Check back next week. That was like a very <laughs> rude comment. Holy shit. You lazy ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> I take the two that of back. us do not condone the actions of him. 
<laughs> Please stick around. <laughs> we didn't mean to insult you. Although Sam, so it's really only Tim because Sam's the one who decided you were all ferrets. That's true. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure. Ferrets I, are cool though. So. Ferrets are pretty chill. They are. And I have also insulted them in the past. I remember yeah, I or I've been aggressive with them. So sorry about that. And on that note, ferret out.